Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a little something different. So I, as much as I like this soft blue, you know, it's very relaxing and calming, but I've been wanting a, like just an all white. There's just something like so bright and clean and rejuvenating about an all white room. So I finally convinced my fiance or more so you all and your support convinced my fiance, thank you, that we should go ahead and paint this room. Oh, look at that, and here he is. <laughs> All right, so anyway, I don't even remember where I was. So I want to transform this space right now, and I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, so right now, yeah, this is the space that I have. It's really just a regular bedroom. Yeah, so this is what it's looking like. And honestly, it's not a bad color, but I just don't want any color. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and transform this. I have some ideas. I'm also gonna have to go to TJ Maxx because I'm thinking I wanna put like a plant or something right there. And maybe another plant right there. Maybe wall art, maybe not. If I do, it would have to be like seriously clean, simple, and symmetrical. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm not sure if I would want I don't know, when it comes to the wall art, I really have to think. I might not even do like something in a frame, but more so like some type of actual art on the wall. In the meantime, all white, plant, plant. That's where we're going. Maybe a rug, maybe not a rug. Maybe, I don't know. But in the meantime, I'm going to bring this little pup because I know he is going to be so down for going on an adventure to the store to get paint. <laughs> all right, let's go I got the paint I went with this infinity Sherman Williams like satin paint because I know that I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, yoga sequencing that has to do with utilizing the wall, so I just wanna make sure that I'm able to clean it a little more easily than rather than just like needing to paint over. And I got, I went with this paint kit and it pretty much has, I mean, essentially what I need. Now it's just for this room, so pretty much have what I need. I also got an edge painter because painting edges is a beast, honey. It is a beast, so. And I don't think I mentioned this before I left, but I also am going to be cleaning all of my yoga mats today. I saw a tutorial on YouTube to get a really mild detergent that like doesn't have any perfumes or dyes. So I went ahead and went with all. I hope that that works and is okay, but they really need to be washed because if I'm going to let everybody in on a little secret, <laughs> I've never in life washed my mats which is probably fairly disgusting. But yeah, I really have never thoroughly washed them. I've wiped them down after class or something like that, but I've never actually thoroughly washed them. So that is gonna happen today. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these out and we're gonna wash these first because they need to hang up and dry. And it's a nice warm day outside. So I know today is like the most perfect day to wash my mats. And this mat is suede. I'm really nervous to wash this mat, but at the same time, it's it's honestly, it's just too dirty. It needs to be washed. So whatever happens to it, happens to it, but it needs to get clean. I will go ahead and start washing these mats. Okay, so the first thing I heard was that you should do like lukewarm water and fill up a bathtub. All right, so I have outside prepped and spiderweb free.
So the camera died, but I did get four out of the five mats cleaned. It took a super long time, but I did it. So my arms are exhausted, but I really gotta suck it up because I definitely, definitely, definitely have to paint this room. on the mat cleaning. I use the same exact technique for all of them. I just said, hey, whatever happens, happens, and we'll see how they come out. All of my mats have come out just fine. I actually even used a sponge, like an abrasive sponge on them, and they are just fine, as you can see. Obviously, this mat has been used, so that these scratches are just from me and from use and wear and tear. This is not from the sponge at all. I used it on both sides. They smell so fresh. That's my Lululemon mat. Um, the cork mat came out just fine. Beautiful. My um, Manduka mat came out just fine. Super clean. And even the suede mat, the sugar mat, I used a sponge on it. They said, don't use it. It'll mess it up. It does not mess it up. Look, I mean, it's literally like bright. I'm so happy. And then, of course, my travel mat. But that one is, you know, thin and very rubbery plastic so I knew it wasn't gonna mess that one up but I was most surprised with the sugar mat like you can definitely scrub it with laundry detergent in the tub hot water totally fine everything smells fresh and clean I'm so happy so there's the update
Try and get no, try and get no. Hope you free your soul, hope you free your soul. I might have caught the June blues. Yeah, I wanna drown myself inside the juice. Yeah, you know I keep on running from the truth. Was that not? I'm just a lonely youth. Now when I drive around, don't feel it all. Why it's getting colder when the sun comes out? Might just waste the.